Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to continue with the fluctual member. Take a look at what I have. We talked in class that the pre-stressed fluctual member, they came in three different classes. And these classes were identified based on the uh, extreme fiber stress in tension. And we had the uh, uncracked class, which was the tension stress was less than seven and a half times square root of F prime C. Then we had a, a transition between uncracked and crack section, which is uh, crack section, and that was T which was, as you can see on the screen, between those uh, two uh, limit. Then you had crack section, which was bigger than 12 times um, screw the F prime C. So uh, what we have here, we have this example here. We have a, a simply supported 40 feet span beam uh, with a uniformly distributed loaded, which we have, uh, but the weight of the beam is about uh, 0.4 kips per uh, foot, 400 pound. And then you have the uh, superimposed dead load of one kip per foot and a life load of 1.25 kip per foot. And if you look at the cross section of this beam, it's basically uh, it's a 32 inch by 12 inch. And uh, one other than the uh, pre-stress in steel is we have 12 of them and half inch diameter. FAPU is 270. And of course, the A cross sectional area I just calculated came out to be uh, 384. And calculating these uh, moment inertia, which is I is equal to 112 bh cube, comes out to this number. And as a top, as a bottom, which is basically uh, your I divided by the uh, C, which is this distance is, uh, if this is uh, 32 is 18, that comes out to that number right there. The uh, F prime C 28 days the break is a 6,000 PSI. And the uh, calculated, uh, Module velocity came out to uh, 4696 psi. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go ahead and calculate the uh, dead load moment at the center. And you all know the formula is m is equal w l squared divided by eight. So from this, we're going to say, okay, my dead load moment is equal. Uh, uh, dead load is basically your. Uh, Weight of the beam plus the superimposed dead load, it's going to come out to 1.4, those two combined. L squared is a 40 feet square. And let's make that to an inch. Divide that by 8, and that comes out to 3,360 inch kip. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to put down MD is equal 33.60 inch kip. So next thing I'm going to go ahead and calculate, it's going to be a life load, same thing. Life load is going to become uh, 1.25. And that's a 40 square times 12 divided by 8. That is a 3,000 kip inch. So M life is equal 3,000 kip inch. Next, I want to go ahead and calculate my pre-stressing force. And uh, the area of my pre-stressing steel, area of pre-stressing steel. Oh, by the way, before I forget that, I want to tell you that because there's a lot of notation used in this example, take a look at what I have on the screen. Those are the list of notation. Copy those so you know uh, if I write something down, what they are, and you can look at it. And uh, uh, also, what, we, what we're going to use, we're going to use the PCI method. There are uh, 10 steps involved. We're going to follow those 10 steps to do the crack analysis. So let's go ahead and find APS. Uh, and APS is going to be, um, we said we had uh, 12 of them, so a half inch diameter. So 12 string and a half inch diameter, the cross-sectional area for half inch is 0.153. And therefore, the total area going to come out to uh, 1.836 inch square. I'm going to write this down here. APS came out to be 1.836 inch square. So now we're going to calculate f of uh, SAE, which based on a notation I had on a board, is uh, effective uh, is 
its effective stresses in uh, pre-stressing steel after the losses, and that's going to come out to, um, it's going to be, uh, we said 0.75 time FAPU and uh, time the uh, 1 minus the percentage in case 20% here. So it's going to be uh, 0.75 time 270 KSI and then time 1 minus 0.2 and that comes out to 162 KSI and FSCE is equal 162 KSI. So the uh, effective pre-stress after losses comes out to 162 KSI multiplied by the area which was 1.836 and it is equal 297.4 kips. I'll write this here. PE is equal 297.4 kips. So we know this distance from here to here, right here, that's uh, 16 inches, this, this distance right here. And this is going to be down bottom here. So the E is from, uh, from here to here. Our E is going to come out to um, 26 minus 16, which is 10 inches. And therefore, this distance right here, we said that's at 10 inches. We're going to come back in here for E is equal 10 inches. All right, let me erase this. All right, so now we're going to do a cross-sectional analysis. And you've seen this equation about 5,000 times. I'm not going into it. And in uh, previous uh, sessions, we're going to calculate the total moment, which is a moment, exterior moment, which is basically really dead, dead and low uh, combined. I'm going to write that here. M exterior 3,000 be 6,000, 6,360. Uh, so these two combined makes it that. Right, now we're going to calculate these and we're going to put them in term of a PSI. That means we have to move all the value we have is in KSI, we just multiply by 10. And um, by 1,000, sorry. F of B is equal, uh, PE came out to be 297.4. Let's multiply that by 1,000, make it pound. And the cross sectional area came out to be 384. 384 plus 297.4 times 1,000. E came out to be 10 inches. And divided by section modulus bottom came out to 2048. And then minus the total moment came out to be 630, 6,360. 6, and that was a kip inch multiply that by uh, nothing, that's it, uh, divided by uh, 2048, and I get minus 879 PSI. Remember the spec I showed you at the beginning, take a look at it. So we really want to go ahead and calculate those limit, and we had um, We had 12 times square root of F prime C. That's 12 times square root of 6,000. So that comes out to 929.5. Uh, um, and that comes out to 6,000. And that came out to be um, 581 PSI. And our value is right there. It's 
79, which is between both of them. So basically, what class concrete is this? You can tell me, give you two second uh, advance. Yes, you are correct. This is a class T. Because it's a class T, we really don't have to do a, a cross section analysis. But let's say this was bigger than uh, this number. Let's say this, give another couple hundred, and let's do a cross section analysis for this. So we're going to go ahead to uh, step number two. In uh, step number two, now, we're going to go ahead and calculate FADC. Let me read FADC to you. And FADC is uh, the compression stress in the pre-stressing steel when a stress is zero in the concrete at the same level as the centroid of the pre-stressing steel. That is the equation is given from PCI. That's equal to FSC. And plus the N, uh, which N is basically r ratio of two modules of elasticity steel over concrete. And then time FSCIR, and FSCIR is uh, concrete stress at the center of gravity of the pre-stressing force immediately after transfer, and that's going to be minus FSCDS, uh, which is concrete stress at the center of gravity of pre-stressing force due to all permanent uh, uh, load. So we have. We do, you have this one. We can calculate this. We got to calculate these two also. And um, so we're going to go ahead and figure all these things out here. And as you can see, the equation uh, on the board uh, for this. And we got to find out PI. We got I, A, we have that one. We have this one. And then we got to find MG. So PI is equal, I'm just going to make a area for this. OK. PI is going to be equal to the area IPS, which is 1.836 times FAPU 270, and with the 75%, and that comes out to uh, 371.8 kips. I'm going to put down PI is equal 371.8 kips. Uh, the next thing I want to find out is the uh, MG. MG, which is equal WL squared divided by 8. And that's just the load of the uh, dead load of the beam itself. That's it. And that was 400 pounds, which is 0.4 times 40 squared times uh, we can make that to an inch, so time 12 divided by 8, and that comes out to uh, 960. So I'm going to put down mg is equal 960 inch kip. Now we have everything we can plug in right here. So I'm going to come back in here, and that's given to us, and that was a uh, uh, point. That was 1, actually, 0.9. And so FCIR is equal 0.9 time PI came out to 371.8 divided by AG. AG came out to 384 plus 371.8 time 100, basically. And divided by 32768 minus uh, 960 divided by 32768. But that is time 10 up here. OK, so switch is equal to 1598 KSI. Uh, yeah, that's KSI. So now we're going to find FSCDS. So FSCDS 
is equal uh, from the equation we have on the board m superimposed dead load time e and divided by uh, ig so that comes out to uh, um, superimposed dead load we did not calculate that so we did we just have to figure it out and that is equal um, m s d is equal your dead load moment m d minus m g so i had three three six zero minus nine sixty so that gave me uh, 2400 uh, for 2400 so i'm going to say m s d is equal 2400 inch cube so in this equation here it's going to be uh, 2400 time 10 divided by uh, 32768 So that is equal to uh, 0.732 KSI. Our N, let's figure N out. I'm going to continue this here. Our N is equal EPS divided by EC, which is equal to EPS for the series 28,500. 28,500. And uh, that's right. And EC was 4696. 4696. So that comes out to uh, um, 6.07. 6.07 so I'm going to put n is equal 6.07 and I'm going to go ahead and do this equation right here and that is going to be uh, f of uh, dc equal we had f of c f of c came out to be what am I missing Okay. So that is 162 uh, plus 607 time FSCIR came out to be 1598 minus uh, FCDS 0.732 and that comes out to uh, One sixty-seven point three KSI. Okay, that take care of uh, uh, step number two. Let me erase this. I'll come back to this. Okay, one thing we forgot. I want to figure out uh, P S our decompression force going to come out to be um, uh, the area one point eight three six time the uh, 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 the calculation we just did 167.3 and that comes out to uh, uh, 307 kips I just erased that so that's going to put down P 307 kips so we're going to move on to step number three Step number three. Uh, this is a P, P is pre-stress and still that's a pre-stress for the bar itself, so that's zero. And therefore we can say, okay, our uh, P E our PE comes out to 0 plus 307, which is really 307.
into step number five, compute the combined transform section properties. Uh, let's get what to work. We already know n is equal to 607. So ATPS, ATPS comes out to be um, 1.836 times n, which is 607. So the transformed area, it's going to become um, 1114 inch square. Do, 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 do. Okay. So from here on, everything's going to be a uh, trial and error. So what we want to do, we want to calculate the stresses, both bottom and top, at the neutral axis, and hoping that comes out to zero. So now we're going to assume this distance right here. We're going to say, OK, right here, we call it C. And uh, let me just make this right here. So we're going to call this uh, C. All right, for the first trial error, we're going to call it, say, let's say it's right where it is. C is equal 18 inches. And then we're going to calculate everything, see if they balance out or not. If not, we're going to do it over and over and over again. OK. First trial, and we're going to go ahead. We're going to say the total area of this section is going to be area. Um, we're going to call that, uh, it's going to be basically, if C, it's going to be 18. So this is 18 times 12. And we know this is a 12 inch right here. And we're going to say 18 times 12 plus this area right here, which was 11.14. And that comes out to 227.1. Uh, um, inch square. Now we got to calculate the uh, y t first. And if you remember from kindergarten, we said uh, when we found the uh, y, it was uh, it was summation of a times x divided by a, or a times y divided by y. Doesn't matter. When here we're going to use the equation. We graduate a little bit, so we're going to use this equation. We're going to say the same thing. It's a bc to this distance here. So I'm going to go ahead and say b is 12, c is 18. 18 divided by 2, total area was 227.1. And then plus, the area of the PS came out to be um, 11.14 times d, d is uh, uh, 26. So that comes out to be yt of the first trial. yt of first trial 1 comes out to um, 9.84. OK. So now we have that. We can go ahead and uh, calculate the moment inertia. Remember this again from kindergarten, 112 bh cubed plus a d squared. So what is 112? b is uh, 12. We have two different shapes. Shape number one, shape number two. 112 times b, 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 h. h is uh, 18. c1 is 18. 18 cubed plus a is 18 times 12 d. d is the distance between center of the first shape and our uh, neutral axis that we assume. So that's going to be um, 9.84 minus, yeah, center of this is 9 minus 9.84 minus 9 square. So that's the first shape. Plus second shape, which is 112b. Boop. B is, uh, B of this is uh, 12. 
Now h is going to be this height is going to be h. H is equal, if that's the area, is 11.14 divided by the B, 12, that comes out to, uh, I got it, I got it, 0.93. So that's a 0.93 uh, cube. You can almost ignore this because it's so small. Just say one. And then plus AD squared, A is 11.14, and D, it's going to be uh, 26 minus 9.0. 84. So that comes out to uh, 8894 inch by power 4. Okay, there are some stuff I want to know. So I want to find out IT divided by, which we found it, uh, uh, Y neutral axis. That's the same as saying IT divided by uh, uh, C minus Y. T. So that came out to 8894C. We said first try was 18. YT was 9484. 984. 1090-inch cube. That's almost like your section module. Uh, it is actually. So now the next thing we're going to go ahead and calculate is the uh, uh, YP. Let me just do a different color here. YP. And that is a 26 minus 984. So that comes out to 1616. I want to calculate based on these dimensions that we have had is interior moment, m interior, which is equal the uh, exterior moment minus PE time YP. And uh, PE came out 307, YP came out to be right there, so we have everything, and the exterior moment came out to be 6360 minus. Uh, 307 time 1616, and that is equal 1399 inch kip. All right, I'm running out of room. Let me erase this. I will continue. So we have these numbers. I actually want to keep these numbers. A PE divided by 80. It's going to come out to be 307 divided by uh, 227.1. And that comes out to 1.352 KSI. And that is basically that equation on step number 8, as you can see. And then I'm going to say, OK, is that going to be interior uh, moment divided by uh, IT divided by uh, Y neutral axis? So interior moment came out to be 1399. Divide that by, it was IT. IT came out to be divided by uh, IT, and that's a 1090. 1090, which is equal. one283 KSI. So the, you got one side is 1.28, the other one is 1.3. So the difference between those two numbers, these two number, the difference is going to be, um, so we're going to say 1.283, and the other number was 1.352. The difference is 0 0.069 KSI but we like to see that become zero. Of course, this calculation, let me, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up Excel sheet. Let's talk about this right here. Make this bigger. OK. So what I did here, I set up an Excel sheet. And I have three different color codes. C is what we have to change. 
and uh, let me make this a bit smaller so I you can see me also the uh, um, the C is this one this is a trial so we have to change this up and down until we get the zero this number becomes zero here make them higher or lower so let's go back to the Excel sheet right here and that's why we have um, a C as a different color first we the first trial we did 18 and I put in a given calculate this was given or calculated which was B ATPS and those were given and also D is equal that number we all this equation that we went through and then I come in, I, these has to cal be calculated like AT, and we put the equation, you basically put those in through equation like there. Then you go for YT, which we calculated, and put another equation for that. And then you can go ahead and uh, um, let me come back to my spreadsheet. So now we put uh, IT in here, and put that equation in there. And yt is right here. Put this equation. It's right there. And do all this right here. Yp m in uh, interior moment, and then finally calculated the difference. So that was the first trial we did by hand. Then I put 19 inch. Came out like that. 18 and a half. 1843. 184. And this one. This was the one. Basically, won the whole thing. 18.43. And that's what beauty above Excel is. Where am I right? No, right here. That's what I'm talking. So this one, that, so finally I used Excel. I will just put this on a board so you can go ahead and have it be on the a, uh, on a, uh, platform, on a bright space. Okay, let me get rid of this. And so we're going to use the uh, final variation, which is 1843. Let's bring back this down here. Alright, so that was the first iteration. So let me erase this book and we'll continue for the last two steps. Uh, from our Excel, we have those numbers calculated based on uh, C, which we said C is the one that's going to be um, 18. We said this C comes out to 18.43. That's what we selected. That is correct. But this is a 307. And... Uh, this we calculated 232.3 that's from the excel we calculated based on that and that is plus M I M and this came we calculated this also it came out to this whole thing came out to 1.32 again from excel our M interior came out to be 1454 and this one came out to 923 so that's going to end up to uh it comes out to uh, 2.897 KSI. This is less than uh, um, 0.6 of prime C, so we are good anyway. And the uh, also we have to calculate the. Uh, um, we had IT divided by YP and 92.46 divide that by YP and we had YP as uh, so now we're going to calculate AT divided by YP we have these from the Excel sheet again and that comes out from these numbers come from the Excel sheet um, Five seventy-eight point six inch cube. So our delta F of P S basically is what I have up there. Stress in a pre-stressing steel at the service load, less than this compression uh, load. It come out to, uh, and that comes out to basically that came out to uh, one point three two two, and we had all these number, and it comes out to seven point two two. Nine. Obviously, we don't have it because these numbers are so small. We don't need a, a crack control. So let's go to nine B. And so we're going to calculate the compression and tension on bottom. 
basically, if we go ahead and look at the cross-section of this shape, and this is based on the Excel, the number that we found. If we go like here, so we cross-section shape, it's going to come in like that. Remember that? And then this will be the uh, compression force here and tension force down here. <coughs> so uh, this distance came out to be uh, 1843. And then we know that uh, this right here is going to be one third. That distance is going to be, let's calculate these first. That comes out to, uh, compression comes out to this number, Fc times B times C divided by 2. And that came out to be um, 320.3. The bottom should come out the same thing, which is a PE uh, time plus delta FPS times APS. So the tension and the compression should come out the same. And tension comes out of this equation here. And that comes out to um, 307 uh, plus 7.224, or 229. And then time um, 1.83. So T comes out to be the uh, same thing, 320. So now we're going to have uh, that's 1843. We knew that the center of the steel from here at right there, that distance right here, this distance from here, uh, let's say from here uh, all the way to here, that is, we know that is at 26 inches. And from here up is 1843. And this going to be at the center, and you learn that from kindergarten, which is uh, basically, we can say that distance is. Uh, 18.43 divided by a third because the center of gravity is one third for triangle. And that comes out to uh, 614. 6 6.14. So right here, that's a 614, that distance. And we want to go ahead and calculate the uh, uh, check the equilibrium. So if you're going to figure out, they come up with the same moment as we have up there. So I'm going to say moment is equal. Uh, that'd be 320 multiply by uh, uh, this distance is going to be from here to here. This distance between these two, it's going to be uh, 26 minus 614, which is a 19.86. And therefore, that's a 19.86. And that comes out to uh, 63. 60. And that's the same number as this one, right here to here. So checked out. Hope this was uh, helpful. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And you have a wonderful time. Whatever day of the week as you're watching this, have a great week.